guys hi welcome back to our channel the masegos i am michelle and i am anede yeah uh, and today um before we get into the video i think we just need to give a quick update um and just explain that the background has changed mm. <laughs> we have moved <laughs> um finally thankfully by god's grace um, and it's been a very hectic week. It's been a very, very he hectic week. Too hectic. I think when we we started the channel, like I, when I was on leave, and it was very easy for us to put out two videos weekly. And then like things have just picked up even for me in terms of work. I even traveled for it this past week. And moving was also really hectic. We didn't get a chance to film those two videos we had hoped we'd film. Um, that we said would be filming because it was just a lot more intense even though we didn't have furniture in the previous place it was a lot there was just a lot going on so yeah here we are on sundays and i think we never really stuck to or like put out a certain schedule for our channel because we just wanted to build consistency and get a feel for it but yeah i think after just discussing with ourselves you know once a week is definitely doable for us and then maybe bonus videos every now and again but yeah just just a little housekeeping and just thank you guys for all the support all the Absolutely. wonderful comments like it's just been really wonderful um growing this channel and growing this community and just getting to interact with you and just share a bit of ourselves with you yeah no it's been an absolute pleasure really and yeah i i can't express enough how happy i am grateful i am for all the support that you guys give us yeah no we're really grateful and yeah getting into the video now all the admin out of the way um today we'll be discussing the pros and the cons of living in the uk um we have done previously a very heavy reflections on our first year in the uk um this is not going to be a heavy video it's just going to be very i think practical you know like not emotional just like sharing oh. the pros and the cons like of moving from south africa and coming to the uk and living in manchester specifically um so that you know because different areas of the uk have their different pros and cons as well i mean their overall themes but i think for us we can really speak and vouch for manchester because that's where we stayed yeah the past year I'm not allowed to cry. It's not emotional. <laughs> you can cry, mm -hmm. but you're not a crier. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, we'll start with the pro, right? All right. Okay. So pro is safety. Oh, okay. I'll start <laughs> with that one. No, no. That one speaks to me, guys. Oops. Smack the mic. <laughs> that one speaks to me very personal to me. Mm. Yeah, I've had experiences where I was not safe. Yeah, I've been mugged. Yep. How many times? Three times. Eesh. Like I'm a mugging mag magnet, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've got such a nice smile, so I guess people then <laughs> wow. decide. Easy no, target. An invitation. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. So hey, mm. walking around town like a Joe C B D kind of vibe, you know. Mm. And walking around and realizing that hang on, no one's actually targeting me or no one's no one's um, looking to steal things that I've got and I feel safe and people around me, they also, it looks weird actually when you're uh, paranoid because the mm. people here, they're very, they can't, pro they can't process when, I remember one time I was walking to work um, from Manchester city center to Old Trafford. Now the, the, the place where you walk there, hey, there are some places. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you if it was that South look, Africa. That look a bit. Yeah. yeah but they're not really young. Sure. And I met this old man there on the way and I asked him, um, is it my Google Maps put me through this place? Like it's a canal on the side and it's yeah. a forest around. I'm going to old traffic. Is, is it like safe to walk here? He's like, yeah, yeah, just make sure you don't fall in the water. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not afraid of the water. <laughs> I'm afraid of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no man it's safe don't worry so hey, yeah the safety around here is really remarkable and yeah. even even at night you know true, true. yeah knock off at 11 mm. my first shift I, I walked because the, the 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 buses they were awful 
And my supervisor was like, no, you can walk. It's, it's quite close. It's better to walk. You'll get home 2 a.m. if you wait for a bus. So I walked and it was just refreshing, you know. So yeah, yeah. safety is a huge thing. Yeah, just to, because he went elaborately on safety, but <laughs> just to touch a bit on safety, like also just as a woman here, it's been a lot better for me. Yeah. Because yeah. safety in well, South yeah. Africa <laughs> <laughs> is... As a woman, I mean, is is really daunting. Um, I don't want to go into experiences or anything because we're not trying to make this video heavy. And he's just shared his own experiences, which is fine. But it's just great to be in a country and also raising a daughter, knowing that she's safe as well. So that puts me at ease that she doesn't have to go through some of the things I had to go through and just always feeling anxious and stuff. So that's a huge pro about staying here. Wonderful, wonderful pro. I think it's one of the things that probably if we were to consider going back, it would be very hard for us to go back based on that one. I think it would be like a top, top thing that would consider yeah. safety, especially having a girl child. Yeah, it's just a huge thing and we really appreciate being here and being at ease. Yeah, we should make a video about time to cop one. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just feel like... Yo, it's, it's, it's not a light video. <laughs> it would be another heavy video. Yeah, but you probably yeah. will share, but uh, it's, it's, it's not it's not a, a light-hearted video, just FYI, <laughs> so that you know. Yeah. Um, next, let's, I'm going to just do all the pros and then move to the cons, or let's just do a con. So con, mm -hmm. rainy and cold weather. Alright. Yeah, so I'll start off with this one. Mm -hmm. Particularly in Manchester, it's always raining, always raining. Um, if you're someone who hates rain, who's not a fan of rainy weather, who um, gets annoyed by rain and all of that, then you would not enjoy staying here. Yeah. Because yeah. it is consistently raining all the time. Um, even particularly where we moved now, I feel like... It's like it's worse. It's yeah, worse, <laughs> yeah, where we stay in Bolton, which is right yeah. just right outside the city centre of Manchester. And yeah i mean i'm okay with it i'm an indoorsy person you know i don't like going outdoors that much um except for exercising or whatever so i don't mind it i've just adjusted pretty well to it it's not something that bothers me but i know there are people who love being outdoors who love sunshine who love bright weather and you know especially like me you know being in the sunshine <laughs> You know and that's something that they might not appreciate there are parts of the uk which are better i can't really mention any now but here in manchester that's not what you're gonna get you're gonna get yeah. rainy cold weather you're gonna need waterproof shoes you're gonna need an umbrella constantly on you because the weather can change at any time and it can just start raining not necessarily heavy rain yeah. but still enough for you to need something <laughs> waterproof <laughs> on you <laughs> it's never really done the storm it's never yeah. really that it's always you know that rain it goes on and on for mm. like the whole day yep. and it it gets stronger and weaker but never really pouring mm. yeah and then it does pour at times you know but no i'm not seeing lightning actually yeah, true. yeah. and yeah I, for me i don't like that weather but i dress up well now because i learned a lesson i had an experience one time so <laughs> taught me quite well I think we did share it in one video. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm always dressed and I'm ready for this weather. So, yeah, you just need to be prepared. Definitely. Um, in terms of your dress code. True. Mm. Um, and then another pro would be transport links. So the transport here is very efficient. You're not sitting stuck up in taxis. Um, we personally have used public transport in South Africa a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we know that... So we can attest to the difference yeah very stark difference in public transport here the efficiency sure always like especially with the trains you have to be on time mm -hmm. on time otherwise you have to wait for the next train mm -hmm. um just the ease of it the cleanliness the care to safety you know just being able to travel everywhere you know with the buses with the trains with the trams it's really wonderful and I appreciate that so much about this country. So transport links here, amazing. Yeah. And um, I think I think with the train as well. Mm. To share when we moved, I had to use the train to move certain other items. <laughs> <laughs> that would never work in South Africa, you know. Yeah. But oh, it, yeah, it, it was very tough, but it, it happened. It worked because of how um, reliable the train is here. Mm. 
when they, they give you the time that the train will arrive and depart even if it's like 9.33 yep. it will get the 9.32 and 9.33 is leaving it's li- literally gone yeah. 33 is too late you don't get there at 9.33 yeah. you get there at like latest 9.30 yeah. <laughs> you'll be on the platform waiting because they're now announcing that the train is coming in and you need to get on so uh, punctuality is important very important yeah yeah but then moving on to another con expensive childcare for those who have kids who want to move here <laughs> if you're single you're good yeah. but if you have children little, and little you're considering babies. coming here it's, yeah kids under four mm. if you have kids under four that's a red flag you must wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah you must wait for them to be four because then the child care will be fully funded by the state sure. Um, but under four, they put you off. Yeah, they put you off having little kids. They put you off having kids, having more kids. <laughs> Just yeah, I, mm. I, I don't even want to say much about that because it's so exhausting. <laughs> it's really like sure. um, discouraging because in South Africa, I think that's a pro. Like you can get really good yeah. um, nursery schools and childcare for affordable for prices. affordable prices. You know. Um, and that's really wonderful and you know that your child is safe and learning so much more and then if you want the expensive one you can also then go for that mm. um but here it's like you just immediately sprung into the expensive child yeah. care like it's just like <laughs> what do you actually no mean <laughs> and i mean in a way it's really taught us to be more intentional parents i guess mm. um and teach a mother a lot more and really like hone in on our parenting yeah. like we we have to do everything i think one thing i was looking forward to when we we're still in south africa before we thought this move was going to happen was that i'm not going to have to potty train this child mm. <laughs> she's going to be potty trained at nursery school or preschool mm. but yeah and even up to now we, we haven't potty <laughs> trained her <laughs> we've just we, been making excuses we tried though we tried though it didn't go well but yeah we'll, we'll yeah, try again I, I, to be honest yeah. i really think the fault and, is on our parts because our child has shown so much intentionality and readiness to be potty <laughs> trained like it's really us and just i think trading it or being scared of it and like yeah i mean yes we have our reasons our own private reasons you know mm-hmm. things were going on and stuff but <laughs> we could have done better but yeah child care is very expensive here yeah yeah no no it's too expensive <laughs> and then another pro is the family atmosphere mm. yeah so here i think i really love the fact that you see a lot of families yeah. and you know very few single parents, single parents mm. you know it's just a family vibe you see couples you see like old couples like it's just yeah. family orientated very friendly people very kind mm. you know it's just beautiful to see because you know it's not something you see often yeah. um in south africa unfortunately um you often see single parents in single south parents africa. struggling you know yeah so it's a pro and old people you meet a lot of old people Mm. old old people old a lot girls, of them in the city yeah. center just walking Lots around slowly people. you know and by old we're not talking about 60s yeah. um, not even 70s like really old really you can old see that people. this person is in the 80s yeah. maybe 90s or maybe they look really fresh and they're like mm. you know maybe they look like they're in their 60s 70s but they're actually older mm. and yeah i think that's really lovely to see to just see and they're able to that's walk around diversity. everywhere, you know. Mm. Walk around everywhere they save. Whereas in South Africa, I know a lot of old people are put off going to the city center yeah. because of the crime. Yeah. And also the place not being clean, which is probably another pro, hey? Mm. It's a very clean place. Very clean. <laughs> I don't think so we wrote much. That down. And we did a very clean place, yeah. so Eesh. much cleanliness. And while we're staying in the city center, you'd hear these machines uh, busy late at night cleaning, cleaning up the streets the city, and yeah. stuff. So that's a huge priority and, and it's just wonderful just mm. you guys must be litter littering is bad Eesh. yeah yeah it's really bad <laughs> but yeah moving mm. on to a con job difficulty i think we touched on this a bit yeah yeah so probably i know i nearly went into great detail in our reflections video yeah so yeah it's not um i i don't know maybe there are people i know someone whom i worked with in south africa who got a job actually getting here yep 
you know but um, i've met quite a lot of people from south africa who have not really managed to get the job that they let's say studied for mm -hmm. you know i have a lot of people in my kind of um, boat as well so yeah it we really normally depends. get here with the naivety mm. that oh no the unemployment or the difficulty of finding a job can't be as bad as it is in south africa yeah sometimes um, the grass isn't greener <laughs> yeah <laughs> you learn the hard way <laughs> yeah it, it isn't yeah. but um i think then moving on to a pro here though with the job thing is that there's a huge respectability of all jobs whatever job you do so even though you might struggle maybe to get what you studied for if you do get something that might be regarded as menial or less than maybe back in south africa here it's just as valued um it's just as important you're treated with just as much as res like respect mm. and it's not something frowned upon you know like um people respect each other's jobs mm. um i was even telling Anil and Jay about my work trip recently where i was just like sitting with these partners and big people and they just talk to you normally they don't like hold themselves like you know like i'm at this level and you're here and you know like that whole like thing that we have back in africa hierarchy, where yeah. that hierarchy that you can't just talk to ban ban you have to respect like you can speak to anyone like i was i think i i had to rush to the bathroom after like a break or like after a session we had in our training and then i came back like with all the people i usually sit with like their tables full and i sat alone and then i had like the head of our department come sit next to me and just start a conversation and like for me it was just like while i was there like i, I told Daniela i wasn't even able to like really process the food i was eating because i was just like is this a thing you know <laughs> and i was just and then another big partner came and said and i was just literally surrounded by these big giants in my head and they were just having a conversation and reeling me in and discussing their work problems and it was just so amazing to be part of that and it just made me feel so grateful and even with other jobs as well and it's never felt like you know looked down upon like he just works with people who like see himself see him as the same and that's just the culture that's what i've also gotten from a lot of people who stay here that you're just seen as equal like a human being which i really love i really yeah. love that well you sat with the pod <laughs> me and another day yogan clock came and sat with me you know right next to me and we were talking <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the lies. <laughs> okay, coming to uh, a con. One of I think our second last con is the food. Yeah. <laughs> I think I went on that again as well. <laughs> yeah, he he went in on that yeah. as well. And yeah. <laughs> there's a brother also in the comments who also shared, you know, about uh, the food. Yeah, he's, he says he stocks up spices <laughs> <laughs> from South Africa every time he visits. Now imagine if I heard someone say that before I got here. But I had seen that I'll, though. I would read that. Me, I had it. I would read that. And I just saw people be like, being dramatic. Uh, yeah, like, being, being petty, oh, really. Is. Like, like I had seen that in the videos, especially with Nigerians who move here, they pack their stock fish, they pack so many of these different kinds of things. I'm like, hey, bro, <laughs> what's going on? It's like, like there's no food where you yeah, go. Yeah, and I just thought like, you know, like, you know, I, I enjoy cooking and I love like making up nice dishes and stuff. Yeah, so I just wonderful, thought... Wonderful, wonderful dishes, yeah. <laughs> so I just thought like, you know, it's still good. And I mean, I think we have still eaten well. But if the meat is not that great quality, it does set you back a bit. Yeah. Like you can dress it up, but if the meat just sucks. And even the spices as well, yeah. If they're not great. Yeah. I mean, we don't have that many spices. We have the very basic, like turmeric, um, basil. You know, we still make it work and just yeah. eat like really healthy meals. But we don't have like, you know, the borracha <laughs> you know and curry spices and easy. aromats it was and easy to leave meat we stopped yeah. eating meat it was we so hardly easy do, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it's not a thing in this house now it's mm. like maybe once a week or even once every two weeks um mm. you know and it's saving money it's helping us save money it's yeah, just the, the side effect thankfully yeah like we're saving a lot of money which we really appreciate especially with this big move and all the costs that come with it so yeah, yeah. but hey the food you must make sure if you come here pack your spices <laughs> um 
yeah just pack spices i think i think that's the main thing meat there's not much you can do you can't pack meat they'll <laughs> they will send your suitcase back <laughs> um but you can maybe research i know there are places that offer meat and but the thing is those places are a bit pricier because they know there's a demand and stuff so i don't know if i really want meat that much to i want to put built on ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That wasn't it. I don't know what that was. Jerky. I think it's different. Though. No, you said biltong, but it just wasn't spiced well. No, no. I don't really even bother bad. to be honest. Because I actually I just gave feel it away. Like it's it <laughs> <laughs> I don't bother. Really? I just accept that. Okay, veggies are my life now. I eat more yeah. veggies, and if I really crave meat, I'll have meat once a week, yeah. and it's fine. But yeah, um, I think the last big pro is football culture, which he can. Oh. really speak on oh no absolutely <laughs> oh no if you're a football person you, you are someone who loves the football uh, you know the premier league then you know mm. it's very well supported the fans are so well invested they spend so much as well hey these people spend a lot oh. they spend <laughs> a lot of money they Saving. they travel so maybe champions league remember working at um working at uh, manchester city was well, the mm. Champions League they were playing this young boys it's from Switzerland it was packed these fans they came they sold out their away section they were having a party I can't even remember the score I think it was like five or six like something six one and they were, <laughs> but these fans were just having a great party yeah no it's, it's and, a huge thing yeah here. and what when you, you think about it Europe? the match finished like finishes like like 10 10 p.m these guys they stay in switzerland so they'll go to hotels i spoke to one fan and he tells me oh yeah he's got work tomorrow so he needs to fly back i'm like ah, what time are you gonna Insane. get back it's like around 2 3 a.m <laughs> the dedication is out of this world yeah and then, out of this world <laughs> I, I can't i i thought he was dedicated i thought he was so invested yeah. but since coming here and seeing how people are with football <laughs> and their religious. teams and yeah. it's insane like even a company benefit is season ticket loan yeah <laughs> that's season ticket loan <laughs> interest free that's how sure. deep it is it's like that it's yeah. even a company benefit hey. so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> you have teams like at anfield i heard someone tell me that they're there's a 12 year waiting list for a season ticket you know Imagine. so people will wait 12 years to get a season to get ticket. a season ticket and then they'll religiously minimum come. 12 years yeah <laughs> they'll religiously come until their old age yeah. and it's not like in south africa you know in south africa you walk around town you'll find someone wearing an amazon shirt amazon is a team from kz mm. you walk around Joburg, you see someone wearing that yeah, no, I once wore my Liverpool shirt in you Manchester. Can't, especially Ooh. in Manchester. Nope. Random people just swearing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was jogging. I would jog with the, yeah, with the Liverpool vocal, jacket. Very passionate. Uh, and I'm jogging early in the morning, around 5 a.m. Yes, yeah, someone just uh, starts swearing, you know, I won't say the swear words. <laughs> this is a, this is a PG <laughs> channel. Old people, like old people, old men, like people as old as my dad. Mm. just swearing at me <laughs> so i realized that i know you know what it's, it's best i just keep this and wait maybe at home or wait when liverpool are actually playing as well i think it's it's better that way mm. than to wait randomly because of the liverpool and manchester united rivalry even mm. with man city now lately so yeah that's what i learned and even at work the way they treat you when you're a liverpool fan working for manchester yeah. united <laughs> it's, just, it's just yeah they tell you know don't say don't go around telling people that you know because it's so serious yeah but what i love about them is they're very they're very they're very accepting mm. and they just want to have a great time and they don't really care because we came in here you know when you're in south africa you're exposed to a lot of articles about racism in football and all mm. that i've not experienced a single thing like that Me you know neither, but racism is not something i've experienced that yeah. Really, yeah so <clears throat> that's what i appreciate as well they're just very loving very communal mm. very very knowledgeable about football they're very so they're very engaging mm. the moment you just meet someone random person start 
speaking about football oh they go in like they know you <laughs> it's just very warm and so if you are a yeah. football fan no oh, you love this place you know yeah yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah last con sure is the cultural diversity in church or just the adjustment to church as well like if you're used yeah. to since we're like huge church goers mm -hmm. the seventh day adventists and you know going to church on sabbath has been very different and a huge adjustment for us mm -hmm. because we're used to a very different um atmosphere and culture, yeah, and culture back home and just vibe with music you know singing in vernacular there's just <laughs> There's nothing like it, guys. English is just there so that we all communicate. Mm -hmm. but, but like, there's just something about singing in your native tongue and being able to express yourself that way that we don't have the privilege of anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, during Sabbaths at home, like Friday evening, so our Sabbaths, or so if you're a Sabbath keeper, it starts from Friday sunset until Saturday evening sunset. So when Sabbath starts for us, um, we have music here in the house and at least we really appreciate technology because you're able to just tap into YouTube and put and all your favorite there. groups <laughs> and the music that you love and just fill the home with that. Yeah. I think that's our worship session really. Yeah. <laughs> and then we go to church um, for the community and to grow with others and you know the sermon and also for our daughter really for her to just you know yeah. um also get that experience and worship with others and learn that beautiful beautiful habit and principle and discipline of the, the importance of community but yeah i think it's it's something we miss dearly and that's been like yeah. hard for us i mean i don't know how it's going to be like for a mother growing up now because probably she won't remember Okay. how it's like <laughs> in SA and how she'll feel about it here but I'm sure even when we visit she'll tell the difference you know oh, there's a huge difference. <laughs> there's a huge she'll tell difference. the difference and yeah, yeah there's just something about being home and just you know worshipping in that way and just being taken to that other level yeah that we really miss so yeah and church for people here yeah, is not such a big deal hey? yeah and um, people are not so religious a lot of them yeah. here or oh, a guy explained it well to me when I told him that I can't make the Saturday games. He was like, oh, well, well, what religion are you? I'm like, Christian. He's like, no, but are you Catholic or Protestant or Pentecostal? I'm like, no, I'm Seventh day Adventist. And I had to explain to him. Mm -hmm. And then I asked him, he's like, no, I'm Protestant, but uh, I don't really wave it around people's faces. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, yeah. but do you go to church? He's like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I think with these Western countries, it's something that you really, it's been very important yeah. to us, especially bringing our daughter here. There are a lot of benefits, mm -hmm. but the main thing remains God. Yeah. And you can't forget that. Um, and that's why we're very intentional about going to church, yeah. about praying with her, about having those values, because we're now in a developed country with a lot of, lots of benefits like safety, etc. But now we're not in a community that... Um, or in an environment that really reveres God as much, you know, like yeah. the morals. I mean, they're very kind people, very friendly, very polite, yeah, very good, people. very, very, like just generally kind and, you know, kind hearted. But that culture and, you know, community of God is not something that's here that we have to purposely um, build and make sure that it remains. So I guess yeah. in a way it's really made us held us more accountable because we're not at home now with our parents who are also very churchy and religious like yeah. we have to help how high like hold up that standard yeah and that's you know very important to us as parents so, so yeah. it's very easy if you're a church going person to get here and then you interact with a lot of people who don't really go to church mm. i mean there was a person i spoke to at work and she was telling me oh you know, she hasn't been to that church in three years yeah. and i'm like oh i asked what's the name of the church couldn't remember the name you know mm. and i thought that's pretty weird and then she called a friend whom we also work with she couldn't also remember, remember the, name. the name of the church yeah but they do say that's our church so oh, yeah. yeah it's 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 a it's something that it's not so so big a mm. church going they don't a yeah, lot of people and the people don't do at it. church are very old yeah <laughs> as well hey youth but i think even in general i think it was just also starting to become a problem 
yeah. um, back home as well. Um, hey, just, but not quite like this. Yeah, not quite <laughs> like this. I think here because yeah, it's there's just there's no motive and it's yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe if being parents has just made us be more accountable and just more serious. But I've always loved going to church. Yeah, um, I mean, grew I grew up, up that, going yeah. to church and something that's very important to me because. Yeah you know and i wanted to be important to my daughter as well and it's just really sad to not be in church and <laughs> just well for us our level there's hardly any youth um and then you have the parents there with their kids you know because they're also trying to do what we're doing make sure so at least a mother has you know age mates and and things like that but it's just yeah i i hope something changes but that's yeah. a con that we've noticed but yeah and then there's the music. <laughs> I know. No, for, for those of you who don't appreciate Africans singing, you know, standing up and feeling, being in the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, I know if you come here, you you will definitely yeah. appreciate what you missed at home. Yeah, but we touched on that in detail. Yeah. Oh, really. yeah, but I just wanted to emphasize, <laughs> you know, a, yeah, no. No, they, they, when we sing here, yeah, we just sing to finish, you know. Yeah. When we sing at home, hey, yeah, mm. you feel all your all the weight on your shoulders drop, you know, mm. because you're absorbed in that moment. But anyway, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our video. Um, those are some pros and cons. I think there's many others that we can touch on, but yeah. we don't want this to be a super long video. Yeah. Um, and as usual, we're filming very late. <laughs> I'm working tomorrow. Yeah, yeah but. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Please do subscribe, share, comment, like our video. And we'll see you again in our next video. Hopefully very soon. Cheers, Bye. guys. Good night. Good night.